Welcome to Missoula County Public Schools. We are excited to welcome all new incoming ninth grade students. Our high schools offer a variety of classes, clubs, programs, and activities, providing something that is sure to interest every student. We hope you enjoy learning more about our schools in this brief video tour. All of our high schools follow the adopted curriculum that has been approved by the school board. This video will show some of the unique elements you can find at each of our urban high schools and the Willard Alternative Learning Program. Welcome to Big Sky High School. I'm Principal Jennifer Courtney. The things that set our students up for success is knowing their support staff and the adults that are here in the building that can connect them to a variety of social emotional supports and experiences outside of the high school. We are really proud of our IB, our International Baccalaureate program here at Big Sky. We're also very proud of our Health Science Academy where students are out in the community doing job shadows and externships. We're also really proud of our activities and our athletics program where students can be involved in a variety of different activities. So at Big Sky High School, students have an opportunity to participate in all of our family consumer science classes or so culinary arts. And students can also participate in industrial arts, welding, woods and building trades, robotics and engineering. And we also have our 100 acre working farm where students can participate in vet tech certification programs in the meat processing lab and just learn all about being out on the farm. So in the summer we offer a summer bridge program where ninth graders have an opportunity to come into the building for a full week before the school year begins where they can learn all about how the building works, meet some of their teachers and support staff and just get to know each other before we start on the school year. Let's take a look around our school where we inspire students to be critical thinkers and be open-minded. Welcome to Big Sky. The Health Science Academy is an excellent opportunity for students who want a smaller learning community but more focused in the health science field. Some opportunities that the kids get to have over their four-year course is they get to take four PLTW courses along with they get an opportunity to take job shadows. Um, some kids even go on to do internships. We've got certification programs and great hands-on learning experiences that can be in the classroom. And sometimes we take those experiences and take them on adventures and they get to do that out in the real world. So International Baccalaureate is a program that is geared towards students that are interested in something a little bit more academically rigorous. So it is often compared to or it's comparable to in some ways to advanced placement programs which is something uh, normally that students look into taking in their junior and senior year. So as a freshman, uh, however, you can start to kind of make some decisions about what you want to do throughout your time at Big Sky as a high school student. And if, especially if you think you know what you might want to do after you graduate high school or you have some ideas, IB can help kind of put you on that path. So International Baccalaureate, like it says in the title, is international, so it does focus on international mindedness, but it also focuses on really understanding your own region and where you come from and who you are and why you think and feel the way you do and all of those kind of great things. What we at Big Sky really like about IB uh, the most, which was the reason that we really researched it and we decided to implement it and in our school as a program, is because it's much more skills focused as opposed to content focused. And you do get a lot of content, you get a lot of great content, but it's less about memorizing a whole lot of information in order to take a test than it is about learning how to learn things, how to research things, how to articulate your thoughts, how to think outside the box, how to think critically, kind of how to have all of these great skills that will be beneficial to you not only as a student you know, in high school and then in, in secondary education if that's what you choose, but also just being a good citizen out there in the world. So that's something that we really liked about the IB program. And it is offered in the junior and senior year. There's lots of different options, but students, uh, depending on which option the student is interested in, students can start taking some classes in their freshman and sophomore year to kind of help put them ahead. So that's why even as a sophomore, it's something to think about to kind of see if that's the route that students want to go. We have a lot to offer here at Big Sky, especially during the day. Uh, we have weight training classes. Uh, we have advanced weight training and beginning weight training. This year we also have a women's weight training class, which I think gets a lot more of the, the girls involved, especially if they don't want to be in the weight room with the guys. Um, and we recently just changed our PE schedule to semesters, so we offer four different uh, activity classes, if you will, 
uh, during the day. So we have uh, outdoor pursuit, lifetime activities, um, focus on fitness, weight training, uh, team sports, uh, just to name a few, and it, gi it gives kids more options. Big Sky has a huge variety of options here with, uh, within the band, choir, orchestra, and drama classes. Um, we have groups, uh, like I mentioned, uh, high caliber groups that are intended for students that stick with band, choir, orchestra, and drama for more than just the one year for those that stick with it for three or four years, such as the Wind Ensemble, a Syrian choir. There's also the extracurricular Sky Blues Choir. There's the Advanced Orchestra. We have both of our jazz bands and major theater productions like musicals and plays throughout the year. Otherwise, we want all students, students throughout Big Sky in every performing arts class. We often have students take more than one performing arts class. We share across the school. We have classes for all levels and all students. So we, we want everybody. Typically every year, incoming freshmen, we will go out to each middle school. And it may look different this year, we're not quite sure yet. Um, but the counselors from each high school will go and visit all the middle schools and help students select their courses. So typically we'll have a PowerPoint presentation that talks about all the different courses we offer, um, our different programs like IB or our Ag Center, different things like that. And then we walk students through selecting their classes. So on our Big Sky Counseling website, so if you go to the Big Sky main page, page and then you select under departments, you select counseling department. From there we have a registration tab that walks you through. It has our four-year and ten-year course planning and so from there you can look at all of our different programs based on department or we have a full list and it actually looks like this of all the possible classes we offer. So if you're at home with your parents um, or whoever you live with you can look at that and then select your classes from there. Hi, I'm Judson Miller. Welcome to Hellgate High School. I'm really excited to talk a little bit about what we've been doing um, at our school for the past five years. And uh, we always frame it in uh, kind of our core belief system. You're gonna find a safe environment, you're gonna find a welcoming environment, and you're gonna find an environment that's focused on learning. So we offer a safe and welcome learning environment. One of the things that I'm most proud of with our school is the number of adults that we have interacting with students outside of the classroom day. We have over 90% of all of the staff in our building who use clubs, activities, athletics, music programs, art programs. Um, it, it just displayed around the building. Our librarians are here every Monday working eight to four with kids who don't have access to internet, kids who want to check out books, kids who want to interact. Um, in different ways. We have a healthy flagship program that is adapted during COVID to ensure that students stay connected. It's something that makes Hellgate very unique in my opinion. So in the finance pathway, students start with the foundational class of personal finance in which we're trying to teach them about being financially fit, financially independent, how to be savvy with their money. All of our classes, except for accounting, are freshmen through seniors. So if you're a senior and you haven't taken any CTE classes and need that practical arts credit for graduation, you can take personal finance at that time. We have approximately 20 classes. So we have courses for all learners, all types of learners, and all variety of business interests. But And students can dabble in the different courses. And if they land on something they're really interested in, then they can become focus and they can become a concentrator and they can take a pathway. So we have a finance pathway, a business uh, management pathway, and an AV media arts pathway. So in, in industrial trades and technology, our three main areas are tech design, welding, and building trades. And so in the welding pathway, we focus on um, welding, manufacturing, um, you know, that kind of leads career path to, uh, you know, something like HVAC or plumbing or sheet metal or welding, those areas. Building trades, it's the same thing. So we've got building trades one, which is open to all of our freshmen. And that is kind of a crash course in the world of building trades. So 
our kind of two main areas of focus in building trades are um, the carpentry and then the uh, manufacturing track. And so we've got, um, in the building trades one class, they're learning all the different tools, they're learning a lot of the different skills. Um, it's kind of similar to welding. They're doing some 2D design and layout projects as well. They've got a CNC wood router that they use for um, CNC projects. And it's, it's, it's kind of the same thing with all of our intro classes. We want to get students in that building trades one class so they can see kind of what the environment's like, um, what kind of projects they work on, and then hopefully get them to take a, a second level and a third level building trades class. Uh, it's a lovely opportunity to learn public speaking skills, particularly. Uh, the theater one students in the regular world, there's no live public performances, there's in-class performances, and we do the basics of theater. We, we learn what the stage is for and being on stage by yourself and with other people. Uh, theater two is an intermediate class and does involve uh, public performances. And then by three and four, my goal for my three and four students, the advanced level classes, is always that they can make theater themselves from the ground up. So they write it, they direct it, they design it, stage manage, all these fantastic opportunities exist. If you're interested in studying theater, I, I encourage you to uh, sign up for Theater One um, in the fall if, if possible. Um, it's a semester long class. Um, there are also extracurricular opportunities for uh, freshmen as well. Uh, we do two extracurricular big performances a year, one in uh, mid-November and one in late February, early March. Uh, we do a musical in the spring every other year with Ellen McKenzie, the um, choir director. So it's by audition, um, about six to nine weeks. Um, it is a lovely opportunity to get involved, even if you're not necessarily on the stage. I do try to include freshmen in uh, usually smaller parts, but sometimes a freshman comes along who gets a pretty big role, uh, especially in the springtime. If I've had you in Theater One and I know you um, and I know what your work ethic is, uh, I'm much more likely to cast you in the spring. But there's lots of opportunities for design, stage management. Right now I have six amazing women who are stage managing and one of them is a freshman and the upper level classes upper upper level classmen are so fantastic with being encouraging, um, uh, allowing freshmen to help and to kind of teach them and guide them and just be very, very supportive. So there's lots of lovely opportunities for freshmen. So we have four curricular choirs at Hellgate. We have a beginning treble choir and a beginning, what we call it, the night choir. Usually the night choir is full of mostly boys and treble choir full of girls, but it can depend on voice and all those things. Um, and so most freshmen will go to one of those two groups. Um, there are some audition opportunities, though, uh, for, for people who have a lot of experience in choir, and they can audition into our advanced treble group um, as freshmen. And then we have an, a, another advanced choir that meets as a class called Chamber Choir, and it is for um, sopranos, altos, tenors, and basses, and it's mostly upperclassmen. There are so many extracurricular options. Um, the, the first two basic ones are, we have two groups that meet regularly that are extracurricular choirs. One of them is called the Chevaliers, and it's a group that's been at Hellgate since Hellgate has opened. Um, it's a long-standing group, and it's our most advanced group uh, with mostly juniors and seniors who audition to be in it and rehearse throughout the year and perform a lot extensively. We also have an advanced honor choir for freshmen only that's called Les Chanteurs. And we usually start that choir uh, in October and freshmen can audition. If they're, if they're in a choir class, they can audition so that they can have some more singing opportunities as freshmen. Um, in addition to those groups, there are, there are just a million things that kids can do. Um, we have all state choir, all Northwest choir. Those are both things that kids can audition for if they choose and um, participate in throughout the year. Uh, we have a musical every other year at Hellgate, which involves all of our theater and all the music people, which is really fun. Um, and, there, and there's also just a lot of small performing opportunities along the way. All right, we have all kinds of opportunities with uh, freshmen can audition to be in one of three groups. Uh, intermediate band, symphonic or advanced band, and then wind ensemble. And those are our three um, wind bands 
we also have jazz band that meets as a class during the day. Um, and freshmen are open to audition into that as well. There's intermediate orchestra, which I think a majority of freshmen go into the intermediate orchestra and then they can audition into the advanced orchestra. For band, um, a lot of our extracurriculars center around um, sports activities. Um, so just support with marching band, uh, pep band for basketball, um, and then uh, extracurricular, we have a band called the Hit Squad that goes out and does, um, performs at cross country, um, soccer, and other athletic events. All freshmen take earth science, um, and there are five earth science teachers. And then the one class that they can jump into as a freshman is the Intro to Health Careers. And so the great part about that class is if they kind of know what they want to do, it, gives, it will help them outline their high school um, coursework as well as potentially where they want to go to college. And we do a little exploration of the different, um, the different careers. So it's kind of like a choose your own adventure where this uh, rotation I have three kids who want to be nurses and I have somebody who wants to be a dentist and I have somebody who wants to be a social worker. And so we, we cover parts of each of those careers. Health Science Pathway um, include, is a two-year possible pathway. And so as a freshman, you can take the Intro to Health and Science Careers, um, broad scale, and then sophomore, junior, seniors who have had biology or are concurrent can take the public health class. Also kind of a choose your own adventure, like we do a little survey at the beginning and say, great, what do you wanna talk about this semester? And then um, the junior senior class is the um, sports exercise and health science class. Hellgate has five different languages. So we have Arabic, French, Latin, German, and Spanish. And there are four years of all the languages and five years of Spanish. We encourage people to take more than one year of Latin language, uh, more than one language. We have several that have taken at least two and some that have taken three years, three different languages. I think trying to make some uh, connections between uh, what you might want to be when you grow up or at least what string of interests you might have and how you could uh, successfully choose four years within that plan. So for example, if a kid is particularly interested in STEM or math and science, um, we have a huge list of science options. And so trying to figure out how to fit all those in. Um, at the freshman year, you might consider if you're an advanced student taking Earth and Space and Biology at the same time. Then you have room to fit in the chemistry, the physics, the IBESS, the Chem 2, the IB biology, which takes two years. So it's, it's a lot to think about from an early age. Class of 2025, I am Mr. Mettler, the Dean of Students here at Sentinel High School. We are excited to see you in the hallways here next year. There are a ton of opportunities for you to learn and grow as a young adult, and we're looking forward to be join you in that uh, journey hand in hand with you. So when, when you first get to Sentinel High School, you are going to be linked up with a group of three or four upperclassmen. We call them the Spartan Ambassadors, and they will follow you throughout your um, freshman career and hopefully release you as a, as a uh, sophomore ready to fly away. But they, will, they are available for any questions in regards to curriculum or activities at, at Sentinel. And then we also hold um, study sessions with those uh, op upperclassmen where they will help you study for finals. And if you have any questions between finals um, in regards to any classes, they, they are also available to help guide you uh, in, in that area as well. Outside of the classroom itself, we would we really encourage students to and include themselves in a club, a co-curricular, extracurricular activities, simply for the fact that we want them to develop a social community within the school community. And that's the best way to find other individuals who share similar passions that you have is to be involved in some of the, those clubs or co- or extracurricular activities. 
So if you're interested in, the, in building anything, tearing things apart, uh, creating things, engineers build everything. So STEM is the place for you. Um, when you get into the school, you're going to be taking uh, so, you know, assorted math courses from algebra up to calculus. Um, we have an awesome earth science uh, department or a science department that is, uh, everyone's going to be taking earth science, earth and space science as freshmen. Uh, but it also opens up to other courses such as biology, and other life sciences, uh, AP physics is also offered here, a super challenging course. Um, and those classes kind of form the foundation of the science and uh, the STEM part of this school program. Although engineering is the crossroads of art, English, math, um, building, whether it's automotive or welding, woods, all those things come together and it's really all about problem solving. And that's our goal, is to teach students how to solve problems. We're in the brand new STEM Center. Uh, it was completed last, uh, last year. Um, yeah, and this is where we do a lot of our builds out in this common area. It's a beautiful space, uh, skylight and everything with uh, these garage doors help us open up to the other uh, departments within the technical education part of this school. We have wood shop is right there. Um, automotive is right across the driveway here. Welding is just through these doors here. And computer science is on the other side of this awesome maker lab that is kind of our clean room that has our 3D printers and everything in there. So this allows us to collaborate with all these other departments. AP Capstone is a skills-based program for high school students to let them signal to colleges that they have a robust skill set based in research, writing, and communication. There's two classes that make up the AP class or the heart of the AP Capstone program. The first is AP Seminar, which is public speaking, argumentation, and basic research skills. And the second is AP Research. And in AP Research, you spend the whole year writing basically the equivalent of an undergraduate level research project your junior or senior year of high school, which really tells colleges that you have a robust skill set that they really desire these days. One piece to the AP Capstone program that makes it unique is that students can choose whatever disciplines they are strongest in. So outside the two core classes, AP Seminar and AP Research, they can select any other AP classes to round out the Capstone Diploma. And all they have to do is pass four exams in those other four um, classes to have the AP Capstone Diploma itself. So it's a really diverse group of students. Some are really strong at science and math and others are really strong in social studies or the arts. The one unifying characteristic is a desire to have a holistic approach to their learning because they really care about being well-rounded and balanced um, while they're here at Sentinel High School. So Sentinel High School has quite a few different offerings, band, orchestra, choir, and drama. Um, we have introductory classes where you may not feel like you're the best musician or drama person on earth, but just come in, we'll get you going. Um, it's a great thing. The biggest thing I tell my incoming ninth graders is surround yourself with good people when you come to high school. And what I believe in the performing arts is you're surrounding yourself with those people, um, whether it's in the top ensembles or just just coming in, y'all come group and have a good time. You're surrounding yourself with the best people at, at Sentinel and we want you to get a lot from your friends also and become join an inclusive environment where we all get to accomplish something at a high level. If you want to participate in an advanced class, just shoot one of the teachers an email. And what we'll do is simply listen to you, whether it's over Skype or Google Meet, uh, and we'll place you ourselves. Um, we have a lot of students, especially band, who audition into the middle ensemble because the band, we have three concert type bands here. Um, so a lot of students just audition to that middle one and you know, about half the freshmen audition to that, the other half stay into the intermediate level group. Um, choir also has similar opportunities and so does orchestra. Um, as far as auditioning goes, we also offer a jazz band here where it's audition based. So if you want, you're interested in doing auditions or playing in jazz band, do email me um, and I will get you going and place you into the correct classes. 
the doors are open to everybody who wants to come in. If you play an instrument, um, a band type instrument, just sign up for intermediate band. If you play an orchestra instrument, sign up for intermediate orchestra. If you sign up for choir, sign up for the intermediate choir. Um, they also have um, treble choir, so if you're a female voice or a higher pitched voice, if you're a boy, you have the option of joining treble choir, beginning level treble choir. Um, there's also an introductory um, theater class that Ms. Kesty teaches that is also incredible, and I know the students who join that just get a lot out of it. We have so many different options available for students. Um, we have curricular classes, so drama one, two, and three. And uh, students can, if they want, take drama classes uh, all four years of high school. Uh, they can take drama three a second time and still earn credit for that. So I have uh, seniors this year who started as a freshman in drama one and now are in their second year of drama three. So uh, that is an option for them. Uh, if classes don't fit into their schedule. Students can also get involved in the extracurricular program uh, where we do two main stage shows a year. I try to have a variety of shows. I like to give my students a good range of, of abilities, acting and tech. So um, we do dramas, we do comedies, we do musicals. Uh, it kind of depends on the year and the students that I have. But we, uh, for example, on non-musical years, we'll do a, usually a drama in the fall and a comedy in the spring. And for our musicals, we've done more serious musicals like Fiddler on the Roof. We've done more musical comedies uh, like How to Sing succeed in business. So it's, uh, I, I feel like I need to kind of give my students a range of, of material to work with. Definitely just, just jump in and try it. Um, I, I think a great way that a lot of students kind of like to, to test the waters of the theater world is uh, getting involved in a production, but on the tech um, side of things, so helping with props or costumes or running the lights or running sound. Um, it's a great way for them to be able to see what it's all about before maybe they make the jump to acting on stage. Some students love the tech side, so they just stay there and, and like to explore the different aspects, but uh, just give it a try. Key Club is a service club where we simply work to provide voluntary oppor uh, volunteer opportunities for students, um, either at Sentinel, in the community, and even farther. So in my fifth year working with Key Club, we've worked with a variety of groups, including um, the American uh, Red Cross. Uh, we try to do two blood drives a year, which has been wonderful. Uh, we've worked quite a bit with the Humane Society of Western Montana. Uh, Silver Linings, which is a cancer support group, and we have worked quite a bit with uh, Soft Landings also. Some of the things that we do, um, I think what's really cool about our department is we take a class all the way through. So when I have freshmen, we take them all the way to seniors, so I get to see the growth. Um, the we have, I don't know what the exact numbers are, it's up. We have a lot of kids that are just involved in many extracurricular activities, whether it's sports, clubs, whatever. Um, we have a lot of involvement here. So we, in each counselor um, across the high schools, um, we have three areas that we focus on for students, academic, uh, college and career support, and uh, social and emotional support. So those are the three areas, and kids, um, one thing that's I think we pride ourselves on our department, we don't take lunch, not because we're gluttons, but because we know that kids, that's free time for them. So we're here early, we're here at lunch, we're here after school to access us uh, for those things. Welcome to Willard Alternative High School. I am Principal Kevin Richland, and I want to welcome you to our wonderful learning community. One of the things I think that makes Will really unique is the fact that it's a small school. There's no more than 150 students at any given time. Uh, we have an amazing support staff and teaching staff here that really get to know kids uh, very well. And I think that makes it a unique educational experience for the students who choose to attend Willard. We do have a trimester system, which allows students to earn basically a year and a half worth of credit in one academic year. So oftentimes we have students who come who are a little behind in credits and this allows them to graduate with their same age peers at the same time. 
which is a really important piece. Uh, the ninth grade transition program is designed for students who have attempted to attend their home high school for the ninth grade year and just have not had success and transition to Willard to find that success and experience success in the academic environment. Typically what happens is students who are freshmen go to the home high school first and then will apply to come to Willard at some point within the academic year. So we typically do not start students as freshmen at Willard. The main piece that helps students feel successful is the community we create here at Willard. Class sizes are quite small, no more than 10 to 15 students per class. What that means is students develop really close relationships with their teachers and teachers get to know their students really well. And I think that relationship piece is what makes the difference for many of our kids. If you, if you sort of think about the fact that in other high schools they have anywhere between 25 and 30 students in a class, it's much more difficult to get the attention that students need to be successful academically. When they come to Willard and they have a smaller class, they're able to develop those relationships with their teachers. You know, you have a professional in the, in the classroom that can help a student really learn how to learn effectively. And I think that's really the game changer for Willard and the students who choose to come here. Yeah, it looks a lot of different ways. So sometimes students will just come into my office when they're having a hard time and it's the response to something else and they need help uh, problem solving or working through something. And then other times I'm out with the community either in classrooms or in the public spaces and uh, helping students with whatever they might need. Uh, it, whether it's, again, dealing with a problem or sometimes it's just making sure that uh, I know who they are and I, I can be close enough so that if something does pop up, uh, they know where to find me and they know who I am. They know I'm a, a person that they can trust. Yeah, I think there's some, some preconceptions uh, in the community about Willard students and what they're dealing with. And, and when I'm trying to talk to people about, uh, about us and what we're all about, I try to challenge some of those things because the kids coming here want an education. They want... Um, they want a connection, they want to have a healthy community, and they've been struggling often in other high schools to get that. And, and that's not that there's anything wrong with the other high schools, but it wasn't working for these kids. And so part of what happens when that community is created here is, is, is students feel um, like the adult, because of the this, this smaller population, the adults in the community know who they are, they, they know their names, they know what's going on in their lives, and, and it makes them feel like it's, it's, it's a home, like, they, like they're, they're involved in it a lot more. So I think I credit that to, to a smaller uh, student-to-faculty to ratio and, and just extra support services like myself, where our job is to get to know the kids and what's going on with them. We have lots of offerings um, Elective-wise, there's short story writing, creative writing, poetry. There's also some English courses that are based on um, music. And, um, and then the standard English courses from freshman through senior. I teach mindfulness, and um, I'm a certified mindfulness instructor. So I've been practicing mindfulness for about the last seven years and um, just recently finished my certification. So I've been teaching mindfulness here since 2015. And I um, really love teaching it, it's a valuable skill for our students to learn. I would say the biggest one is class size. Um, our smaller classes allow us to reach more students um, with more time. So if they're struggling with a concept that we're teaching, we could spend more time with them um, to help them overcome that. So I, I would say the smaller class sizes is one of the biggest benefits. It's important for families to know that we are essentially a mini high school. Um, we're a program of the three public high schools. Um, the three schools feed students to us. And I do think as a new incoming freshman, um, I think it's important for you to consider going to one of the traditional three high schools and give that a try. I'm happy to talk with any families that are interested, happy to do that. We have a unique program and um, we know it best here. Um, even though we've been around for a long time, a lot of the school counselors do know um, what's happening, but I'm happy to meet with any families and students. But really the process starts at their home high school. Um, so they should set up a meeting with their school counselor and kind of talk to them about their concerns. The application needs to start. Um, there's a student application and that starts with the school counselor as well. They can get that from them. And then the counselors also have a referral form that they fill out. So the two forms together make a complete application. 
We have a screening team that meets every two weeks, and so we review applications and then we give um, feedback and information after that. Um, so we review students every two weeks, and we enroll students, you know, usually it's about three times a, a year, and sometimes we'll consider emergency placements as well. We'll, uh, we'll look at all applications, um, and we'll review them individually, and we know that everybody's circumstance is a little bit different, and so uh, we don't necessarily have a template um, for, yes, this person gets in, no, that person is getting in. We do take into consideration everybody's kind of unique circumstances. To put it pretty simply, there's two kind of magical things that happen here. Um, the first thing that's magical, I think, is um, it's we're very relationship focused. And we talk about it, we say it, but we actually really mean it. And a very simple way that we do that is we go by first names here. Um, and so just kind of creating a safer environment for students is really a powerful thing for a lot of our students coming in. Students who are struggling with school or feeling disconnected from school, often feel like nobody cares and nobody's noticing them. And in a small school like ours, you can't hide and we're gonna, we're gonna get to know you. And that's been really, that's very powerful for students. Um, so just understanding that we, we do wanna get to know them sincerely and we will get to know them. And that's really helpful. Um, another thing that helps with students is that we can give students four elective credits for working. So for every 70 hours of work, they can earn half a credit of electives. And I think that's really powerful for students who are already working to support themselves or their families. But then a lot of students are behind in credits and it's like, I don't see a way that I can graduate. And then I get to say, well, hold on, we have this other thing that will really help you that's different from the main high schools. Um, and so once they see of the 20 credits that they, of the 24 credits that they earn, they can pick up four from working. All of a sudden the load is lifted and a path to graduation is now a little bit clearer and that and really inspires a lot of hope in students and they're like oh this is doable i can do this and i'm like oh yes you can do this that's what we do here